A few weeks ago, Dick found something he'd been searching high and low for, a second-hand Asquith mascot. Wow. <laughs> it's ridiculous, it isn't it? It is amazing. Now, Dick and Angel have ambitious plans to completely transform the 1980s bus into a fully equipped camper van. Right, so the door's open. Hurrah! The first thing to go are its back seats. Once the bottoms of the seats have been unscrewed, they should just lift out. Now, let's see if we can undo it. Here we go. Oh, yeah! Yeah! More space. That means we can do this flip. <laughs> yeah, it probably could. Now all the seats have been ripped out, Dick and Angel can properly assess what's what. Babe. What? It's tiny. And as far as Angel's concerned, size does matter. It's not tiny. It is tiny. It's not big. <laughs> it's suspicious. These use the freeze. It's quite small. It's plenty big enough. OK, come on. We need, we need to have an extension. I have to manage your expectations <laughs> about this bus. To more accurately gauge the available space, or lack of it, four garden chairs are brought in. <laughs> These are quite comfy. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I think the chairs here have to swivel at the front. Yeah. yeah. With only five square metres to play with, even folding the seats back into a bed will use up rather a lot of room. That's six feet, which is not enough. We have to go to there. What, for a bed? Yeah. That's the whole of the bed. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. We're going to be sleeping here. <laughs> right. Now, two metres? It's 190. That, that's really this much above my head, isn't it? Yeah. Even though the bed may be a little on the cosy side, Dick also wants to add a kitchen that he can use both inside and out. I don't want to cook inside there. Where are you going to cook, then? Right. If we had a unit here, yes, if the unit here could go out to here, we could have an outside cooking capability, couldn't we? OK. Um, and then, if it was raining, I guess we'd, we'd just cook inside. It's now becoming clear that an extension would actually be quite useful. How big an awning do we need? Check it out. Nah, look. Yeah. It just gives us a feel for okay, what we the can do. Okay, the shape. Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what, where are you? Go on. <laughs> if we said we wanted it about there. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Will look much more attractive when I've got a nice fabric. So we'll meet when we stop. Okay, quickly, get out the shade. <laughs> Good dish up there. Pegs out there, post up there, pegs out there. <laughs> yeah, military, good military, <laughs> military, uh, military stuff. Brilliant, yeah. I love it. Up in her workroom, Angel's pondering how to turn an offbeat bus into a homely camper van. And we've worked so hard this last four years that this bus is like, it's like a big fat treat for the whole family. <laughs> I'm going with a green theme. It's going to be quite light. Some of it's going to be quite mint green because I don't want to darken or make the space, the small space, feel much smaller. Every centimetre counts in that bus. But for Angel, the camper van's much more than just a travelling tent. When Dick and I first started dating, I remember going over to Northern Ireland to, to visit the Strawbridges and, um, and Jenny Dick's mum. She just got so many stories about their adventures in their, in their car and with all the children and the dog and their... And I just love it. I mean, the kids are not going to know about driving Miss Daisy, but we do. And it just has that feel. So we're going to call it Mademoiselle. Daisy. Therefore, we have to have a daisy in it. I mean, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? And I want it to be... I want it to be quite simple. It's not going to be too fussy. It's not going to be too sort of pretty. I'm going to definitely do some lovely wallpaper. And it's going to be golden, like, like the scent of the daisy. Even though Dick and Angel can make a lot of the camper van's new furnishings themselves, others they have to buy. 
Guess what's in here? Chad. <laughs> You're such money punks. <laughs> right, missus, come on. Whoa, look at this little... But it's like when he just gets rid of this. Every shipment's like a Christmas present. Oh, what is it? What is it? I reckon you can probably pull this back, kids. Oh, look at this <laughs> This is... Hmm. Yeah. What? It's <laughs> pretty ugly. Come on, don't you come. These come. are an ugly set of chairs that's going to go in our van. The new seats may not be the prettiest, but they are quite talented in their own little way. Does this one swivel? Yeah. And go down? Yeah. Great. So, no, this is, this is the beast. Oh, kids, this is your bed. <laughs> no, it's not. It's our bed. <laughs> oh, it's our bed. There you go. There you go, the wall done. When we're driving in the car, Mummy and Daddy in front, and then when you stop, the chair swivels round. So at night time, it goes down into a bed. Oh, that's amazing. We searched for a very, very long time to get seats for this thing because we have to have integrated okay. seat belts for the children's seat at the back. Forwards and backwards. It's the basis for a bed. Now Dick's established the seat's extraordinary abilities, it's Angel's job to make them look good. And to do that, she's arranged for her daisy pattern to be printed onto fabric. I need you to tell me if everyone likes this fabric. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Um, no, what's that mean? It's shiny. It's crushed velvet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it. Um. Oh, the sun's come out. I can't see. I'm going blind. I'm dazzled. Uh, oh, it's lovely. You've got the functionality. I've got the crushed velvet. Yeah, OK, well, that sums us up, really. That, that sort of sums us up, doesn't it? What was once a whimsical wedding bus has been transformed into Mademoiselle Daisy, the Strawbridge family camper van, decorated by Angel throughout with its personal wallpaper and cushions. Our toilette. I have to admit, I <laughs> was not convinced that two Mademoiselle Daisy fabrics would go together, but it somehow does. When you've got a small space like this, you kind of want it to feel to feel spacious yet cosy. I love crush velvet. Oh gosh, I never thought I'd actually say that so much, but I can't stop stroking it. To Angel, it's a suitably stylish way to go out on an adventure. It's an awful lot prettier than I thought. Really? Do you like the colour? I do. You're sort of thinking plain colours, but Mademoiselle Daisy couldn't be too plain. Let's get ready for our expedition. Well done. Well done. Before they head off, though, Dick's keen to show Angel his origami-style kitchen and sink unit. Unclip the back for me. OK. Now we do this, we push it back in, it comes around the corner like this, comes out. Then we swing out around the corner, put it into position like that. We have to... Do a little bit of cooking, we do it up there like that one or that oh, one. Oh, amazing. Plus this. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's another burner. And sink. And a sink. I just think it's amazing. Well, this looks quite special. We're here! As it's the family's first overnight camping trip, Dick and Angel have decided to keep things close to home. Under your seatbelts! Oh, Arthur and Dorothy, I think we should change your seat into a sofa. Sofa's going forward a bit. Oh, ah! That'll do. Then your sofa's going to be. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Come me. around! Come around! Come around! Come around! Come oh, around! Welcome to yes. the sitting room. Yes. Wow! It's an ancient castle that a prince and a princess live in. Uh, it's uh... <laughs> <laughs> We have to set up camp. As a youngster, we had a caravan with an awning. Not, Did you? Yeah, yeah. And I used to sleep in the awning with my brothers. <gasps> the girls slept in the caravan. Quite big. <laughs> one each. Bring me one. Thank you. Good. So, you got it? Yeah. Hold it up. Put it there. Go get the peg. Oh. We 
where you're gonna make your fire. Yeah. Now the awning's up and the sun's gone down. It's dinner time and a chance for Dick to road test his clever kitchen. Lovely. We can cook. Right, the burgers are ready. Dorothy, yes. there's your bottle. Oops, put it on the bottom one there. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.